Well, welcome back to a new video, guys. Always a pleasure to bring you guys a fishing trip. Always nice to be able to share the experience via YouTube and via the videos. So, it's dull conditions. This might be a one trip video or it might be a two part video. We'll see how it goes. But we've got lovely dull conditions. I am out today actually doing a spot of dead baiting for pike. Now, nice and simple, nothing too complex. Got some roach dead baits. I've got the little all round basically rod that you see me use so much of and that's the angling direct advanta rvs river ambush one and three quarter test curve rod that you've seen on my barbell videos same reel but different spool this is loaded with 15 pound line obviously we're after pike toothy critters etc nice strong line so what are we doing well i'm just using a couple of ssg shot wire trace dead bait roach now it's absolutely fine on a one and three quarter pound test curve rod same with barbel rods as well. You can get away with pike fishing, dead baiting with them. You're not chucking, having to chuck heavy dead baits at range, especially on small rivers. So it's this kind of rod at seven foot in length, nice kind of soft action or progressive action. It's perfect for tackling pike, getting into pokey swims on small waterways. So that's the sum of it. A couple of SSG shot, dropping into swims with a roach dead bait, maybe being a little bit static or letting it flutter down and stay static, then maybe twitching it in other swims, a bit like a lure or a twitch bait. And yeah, see if we can get a pike or two. As I say, this might be just one single video or I might put two trips together on this one video, depending how it goes. Anyway, let's crack on. Let's get fishing. I haven't got that long realistically. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. But the conditions look good. We've got nice, I'll tell you what, nice perch conditions to be honest bloody gorgeous chub and barbel conditions it's always a tough call isn't it as an angler you don't you know you get the urge to fish for another species but then when you're out you think to yourself oh blimey this is good conditions for um perch and chub and barbel but yeah i'm going to be doing some dead baiting so let's crack on let's get a roach on the um hook and get it into a likely swim or two the river is down and low though but at least it's dull conditions so it'll give us a bit of a chance let's crack on let's get fishing Yep.
Down we go. Well, there we go. That didn't take long, did it? A lively scrap from a beautifully marked pikey. Really snaffled and hammered that little roach dead bait. Real beautiful markings. Not a huge fish, but very welcome and a cracking way to begin the trip. Let's get this one slipped back and let's move on to another spot. Cracking. Remember, you're looking for quick bites, move. If you don't get bites, quick, quickly skip on to your next swim. If it looks a good spot but you didn't get bites, maybe go back later on. But yeah, you want to keep moving. Don't spend too long in a swim. If you're going to get bites, generally they're, in these conditions especially, they're going, to, they're going to come quick. They're usually quite fast on small rivers.
very shallow area here. Never been a deep spot, always been decent for a multitude of species though. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. That's a lovely, plump pike, and what a scrap! New. To myself, you know, it looked like a nice back eddy there. Thought there'd be something skulking about. Yeah, what a scrap in the flow though, eh? It wasn't mucking about when it hit that roach dead bait. I'm gonna have to change the trace. The trace is like a concertina. But what a plump, short, stocky pike. Happy days. Enjoy myself. Always, always pleasure to be on the bank.
So <laughs> we nipper. It's <laughs> a <So> nipper. <laughs> well, there we go. Nice little jack. <laughs> Lovely condition. Real sprightly fight. Beautiful dapple markings. Yeah, been a, been very enjoyable this trip so far. Been very very wholesome.
I mean, would you believe it? It's another chub. I thought there was a chub down there earlier. You see, another chub on predator tactics. That's a nice fish. Nice looking fish. Happy days. I'll take that. That's brilliant. That was on a dace dead bait. <laughs> I'm very tired and worn out dace dead bait at that, but very nice. Well, there we go. It's a nice start on a dace dead bait. Not the intended species, but I'll quite happily take a lovely chunky chevy. This one's four pound 14 ounces. Very nice way to start the trip in bright conditions. Lovely, lovely condition. Pull myself back. Once again, do apologize for the camera angle. It's propped on my nat uh, my satchel. But yeah, it's a nice looking fish. Happy days. Let's get it slipped back. What a lovely, grassy, predatory cheb cheb. <laughs> The antis are out in force. The anti anglers are out in force, lads. Those people that dress up as bird watchers. Sorry. Sorry, bird watchers. I love my wildlife, but there's a lot of bird watchers that are anti angling. You can get a few down here, get a few dirty looks, like your Rudolf Hess or Adolf Hitler or Klaus Barbie, when all you're doing is fishing. And they'll quite happily go home and, um, you know, eat a steak which has come from a cow that's not had a second chance, never been put back, but it's been eat, sent to an abattoir. But they're, they're all right with that, that's all right. But if you're fishing and you're putting your fish back, they look at you like, oh, you're pure evil incarnate. And it makes me sick, it really does. I'm not saying that's all bird watchers. Some. Some. River is really low. Look look how far down this is. This is about a metre below normal level. I'm gonna move. It's running too shallow here. Let's go upstream, carry on. Let's find some holes and find some little undercuts and a bit more cover.
piss off. Well, it's been trying, it's been testing, uh, especially the amount of dog walkers now with tennis balls flying into my spots, spooking any fish. No respect given to an angler who's just trying to enjoy his fishing. So it's nice to get another fish in this nicely marked, albeit not huge, pike. Beautiful condition though, lovely markings. Nice little scrap, taken on a roach dead bait. Anyway, let's hope there's a few more and a few more pike maybe or a few less dog walkers with tennis balls bombarding my spots. It's nice condition, rather vicious take. Yeah, I'm happy anyway, let's get it slipped back.
catch much here. Hey, uh, I've had a chub and a pike today. Yeah. <laughs> do you fish? Hmm? Do you do you know? Oh. Ah. Oh. No, it's a, it's a dead bait. Yeah. Yeah. Little roach. See if there's any pike about. So you don't fish. You must know someone who does. Well, I have done. I, mean, uh. I have done many years ago. Ah. Be a lot warmer for me to yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been chilly. I've got to say that breeze is quite. They do, yeah. It does need to be cut back a bit. Yeah, definitely. Not brilliant. Some of this bit of the river. So, I mean, I know they want to hmm. make it slower. They want to block a lot of the. Oh, do they really? Yeah, but so it doesn't flood in Oh, I get you. Obviously it closed down into yep. um, the black water. This is the black water, so this flows into water. Oh, oh that's a good fish. <laughs> he's got yeah, he's got that. Oh, I'll let him take that little bit. Yep. Yep, that's a bike. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> it's a small one, that is. A small. Small one? Yeah. Nice, though. Well, there we go. Lovely Mark Pike. Absolutely vicious and abrupt surface take there playing this fish i had an audience no pressure <laughs> not a huge fish again but very welcome in what has been a frustrating day with dog walkers i've got to say it sorry to any dog owners out there that are watching this video but letting your dog dive into a fisherman's spots while while he's fishing really isn't fair so yeah nice to get a couple of pike and that chub anyway let's get this beautiful fish as i say not a huge fish but very welcome, beautifully marked. Let's get this um, nicely conditioned young croc back to its rightful skulking lair. Well, ye gods, it's been a second half to the trip. As I said, I'll come back down and do some more dead baiting and twitching roach dead baits. But it's been a, a trip of canine catastrophes dogs jumping into swims chasing bulls I, I the river's running low but that isn't the main issue the main issue is the amount of dogs i mean oh my and the lack of respect for anyone else who's wishing to use a river you know dogs actually lumping into swims where i spotted pike off of camera and ruining those spots in fact you know it's been bedlam <laughs> is the way i sum it up and i know better than that to fish this particular reach of the river on a Sunday, let alone on a Sunday where it's really blue and bright conditions and it's been absolutely stacks of dogs, it's been like a dog show poodles labradoodles spaniels German shepherds, even the um, I forget the breed the breed out of Tom Hanks, Turner and Hooch which was off the lead yeah <laughs> it's been hectic, so I was really happy you know, to get that chub and then to pick up those two other pike because it's been really, guys, it's been really against me. Really against me. The amount of dogs going into, sp oh crikey. I had them most of the trip trying to get at my dead baits. If they're not getting at my dead baits, they're jumping in my spots. Yeah, it's been testing. But hey, we had a nice looking chub there and two bonus pike in a situation and scenario where I didn't think I was going to pick up any more fish after that chub due to the amount of commotion being caused by the dog walkers so yeah nice to have those two nicely marked pike and i'm very happy to have that chub albeit on the dead bait tackle but yeah it's been enjoyable despite the canine 
Oh, the canine criminal catastrophe, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Despite them being such a menace um, and ruining multiple, multiple swims. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasure to get out. Been a pleasure when it's been really against me due to that to um, be able to put free fish on the bank. Yeah, it's been nice. I've enjoyed it regardless. But if I see one more dog off the lead and ready to jump into the spot, be it mine or someone else's, I'm going to get him. I'm going to grab him by the neck and I'm going to bite him. <laughs> like that. And yes, it sent me mad. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, guys, it's been a pleasure. It's been nice to get those free fish in tricky conditions been bright as well to be fair and the river is running low and clear which hasn't helped but the dogs have been yeah dastardly anyway hope you've enjoyed the video and uh till my next one i hope wherever you're waiting a line wherever you're dangling your end tackle it is getting a good fair hard tugging anyway take care guys see you on the flip side on another fishing for memories video mark out take care <laughs>